This week, we'll help out our youth and get ready for a family prom. We also put a call out for all distinguished young women and aspiring actors who happen to be fans of Monty Python. All that and more this week in Westland. Radon is a tasteless, odorless, colorless gas that can have deadly consequences. It can occur in any type of house and has been found in Michigan homes. January has been declared as Radon Action Month, so we are encouraging our residents to have their homes tested for this deadly gas. Kits to test for radon are available at many local hardware and home stores for less than $20. You can learn more by watching a short public service announcement with Westland Fire Marshal Kelly Eggers that is on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. This weekend is your last opportunity to see the latest Inspire Theater show. With shows on Friday evening and matinees Saturday and Sunday, the run of Sweet Surrender will come to a close. You can still get tickets for these final shows by going to inspiretheater.com. If after seeing the show, you think it's something you would like to be a part of, you're in luck. Inspire Theater will be holding auditions for roles in their upcoming production of Spamalot. A cold reading audition will be held on February 3rd and 4th at 6.30 p.m. For more details, send an email to inspire at inspiretheater.com. The game of chess is easy to learn, but difficult to master. Maybe that's why it has been played for centuries and continues to be enjoyed by people of all ages. If you've been playing for years or are just learning the game, the chess club at the Westland Library would love to sit down with you. Every Thursday evening and Saturday afternoons, chess players from all around come to the library for matches. All levels are welcomed to join in on the fun by using the library's boards and pieces, or you can bring your own if you would prefer. Just come to the library Thursday at 6 p.m. or Saturday at 1 p.m. The cost of college tuition continues to rise every year, and many families have to look at ways to be able to afford it. The Distinguished Young Women program can certainly help. High school girls in the class of 2021 are eligible to compete in the areas of academics, physical fitness, talent, and poise for a chance at thousands of dollars in scholarship money. The orientation meeting is scheduled for this Sunday, January 26th. You can learn all about the Distinguished Young Women program by going to their website. Have you ever wanted to make a difference in the lives of young people right here in your community? The Westland Youth Assistance Program does this every day and could use your help. It's a proven fact that kids and teens are more successful when they have mentors who serve as a positive role model. That's why the Youth Assistance Program tries to team up with young people in our community with adult mentors. If you would like to participate in this life-changing program, there's a free training session starting soon. To learn more, or to sign up for the program that starts February 18th, please call 734-467-7904. This week on WLND, Westland City Council. This meeting of the Westland City Council was recorded on Tuesday, January 21st, in the council chambers of Westland City Hall. Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebration the cities of Westland and Wayne pay tribute to the life, legacy, and dreams of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. The last thing we want to share with you this week is a special event coming to the Jefferson Barnes Center on Valentine's Day. The Norwayne Community Citizens Council is hosting a family prom night from 6 to 8 p.m. on February 14th. There will be a DJ and dancing, snacks, drinks, and arts and crafts. This event has a limited number of tickets available and is sure to sell out. So call today and make sure your family doesn't miss out on the fun. Reserve your spot by calling 734-793-9390. That brings this episode to a close. Be sure to tune in next week to find out about a new art exhibit in the gallery at City Hall, a free program to help parents and teens get along, and a great way to be a part of the next election while making money at the same time. Thanks for watching.